Hi and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to create any shape in Word. So I have this simple logo up here and you might want to ask why you'd want to create a shape if you already had one. So it may be because you found something in a book or you've taken a photograph of something and you want to create the ideal shape or the shape that you have is not very good quality and also it will allow you to change the colour. So we've got the shape up here so I'm going to go to insert shapes click on the drop down and you can choose from any shape you want but I'm just going to click on a simple circle and just click and drag out a circle. Now as you can see we've got a borderline and we've got a fill colour. I'm just going to get rid of that borderline so make sure you're on shape fill. If you're not it's because you haven't selected the shape then go up to this icon and select no outline. So in order to edit this shape we need to select it and go to edit shape we're again in the shape format tool click on the drop down and select edit points now you can see we've got a slightly different view we've got this red line and these black dots if I hover over these black dots you can see my cursor changes if I click and drag you can now begin to see how we can change this shape because these points have actually got handles on them these handles you can click on and you can move them so at the moment they're moving together but if I select the but if I select the option key on my keyboard I can now move one at a time and I can lengthen or reduce the size of the handles and then I can pull and push them to create a completely different shape now when the handles are perfectly lined up that will mean that you have a perfect curve you can do that again by selecting the control key and then you can move them as one. To remove one of these black marks, hover over it, select your control key. You see it changes to a cross and just click and it will delete that mark. To add a mark, hover over the red line, click and drag out a new marker. So what we need to do is to adjust all of the markers around our shape. Now sometimes if you click away from it, it will deselect. So just reselect it, go to edit shape and select edit points once again. You can see here we've got this beak shape. So I'm just going to click and drag out another marker, click and drag in another marker. And then I'm going to select another marker here and then another marker here for the beak and then move around. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this beak and then I'm going to speed up the video so that you can see how I do the rest of the shapes. Then at the end, we can come back and make all those final detail customizations. So for here, you can see we've got quite an angle on here. So I'm going to move that marker up to there. And then I'm just going to move the handles appropriately. Again, move this one and the handles need to be a bit sharper to create that beak effect. And again here, if it's a bit clunky, then just select your, your option key on your keyboard and it will be a lot smoother. And then we're just going to keep adding points for the rest of the shape.
perfect so once you've finished you can now move your shape around you can change the color of it so go to shape format and shape fill you can select from any of these colors if you like and then if you right click on your shape you can go to save as picture and you can go down here and save it as a PNG file that means it won't have a background it will be transparent and you will just end up with your shape then you can use that shape to re-import it into Word or you can use it on a website or social media or a logo so I hope that's helped you today if it has please like and subscribe and have a great day